hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here i'm makeup by wanjiru and if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for always supporting my channel happy new year 2023 guys i've been missing a lot actually since last year october november and december but now i'm back thank you for those for you guys most of you guys have been asking me on my dms where i went and also you wanted uh you i want to do this makeup that a lot of you guys have asked for actually this kind of makeup that i want to do is makeup that uh let's say 95 percent requested me to do it for you guys and whom am i whom am i i have to deliver what you've asked actually so i'm here and thank you once again for those who checked on me and now i'm now back so today's video it's the video that has been asked or rather you've requested me to do it and it's a detailed makeup how i will start up to the end so you can take your makeup kit and do it with me or maybe you can watch the video yes guys so after all you normally know if um what i really like using before i start the makeup is yes so i have had to wear this because of my hair so those who have been watching my videos a lot they know that i have to apply serum first and the serum that i'm using is dr rachel so i have to apply my serum first and after serum you go back and apply your primer so guys you have to apply the moisturizer that you use always apply the moisturizer that you normally use any moisturizer you can use mine you can use any moisturizer others told me they use a remis vaseline yeah you can use that bora tu usitumie kama uja apply usi apply foundation ka uja apply moisturizer and then you give it like two minutes and then come back to apply your primer so after the, the serum has absorbed on your skin i'm using my primer i'm using my radiant primer remember i'm so oily Oh, again you apply so first and foremost guys after applying your moisturizer and primer you come back to your eyes and you're supposed to use a spoolie so that it may guide you on how to draw so when you see when you look at these two eyebrows you can see one eyebrow looks somehow mother wadhanyo and then the other one has been trimmed well not because this one has not been trimmed is because i've used my spoolie so spoolie will help you or will guide you on how to draw your brows mostly if your brows is not bushing so you're supposed to you're supposed before applying your brows or before apply yes before applying your brows you're supposed to twist your brows or thread your brows so that when you come to to line your brows it may be so easy so i had twist my brows earlier so just mine is lining but spoolie it's very important as you can see they're different so you take your eye pen so you can use your davis for my beginner kindly you can use davis number 18 for my skin tone or you can use for dark complexion you can use number three but right now i'm using this kind of eye pencil i don't know the name of this eye pencil the moment i apply this pencil guys tr trust in me the moment the moment i realized about this eye pencil So you line like that so guys i have this different technique whereby i know 
if you've been following or watching my videos you know i normally use gel bros but today i want to use another technique whereby if you can't buy a gel you can use this kind of technique but i really love using gel on my eyebrows so you line with your black eye pencil after lining with your black eye pencil come back with your brown davis number 18 for my skin complexion and for dark number three and then fill it in <coughs> sorry fill it in that's how you're supposed to do your brows guys don't apply don't fill in with your black eye pencil after filling it after filling it with your black eye pencil again after lining you fill it in with your black eye pencil no don't do that guys because your eyebrow your eyebrows will pop a lot and it will be so so be because you don't or avoiding such case you're supposed to line if you really love black eye pencil because i know you really uh some of you you really love black eye pencil so you line with black eye pencil and then fill it in with brown eye pencil so the next is cleaning my eyebrows so guys on the lower side i'm using lagal concealer with an angle brush to clean my eyebrows you're supposed to follow how you've drawn your eyebrows in that order just clean your brows how you've drawn and then don't start with don't start with the fresh product on the inner corner of the brows start at the center or at the middle of the brows and then after that the remaining product you come back with the remaining product on the inner corner of the eyebrows to avoid the harshness of that area after that guys on the upper side of the brows use the foundation that matches your skin color and for mine i'm using maybelline foundation that is and the shade chestnut so you're supposed to use the foundation that matches your skin color on the upper side and on the lower side use the light concealer and then you drag it down as you go because it will we will use it as the base of the of the eyeshadow. So after that, we, we, we use the same same concealer that we used while cleaning our brows, and in this case, use a fluffy brush and tap it in. Just tap it in. tap it in guys after tapping it in come to the other side and do the same you just tap 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 and tap it in so on this case i'm using this palette i can't really recall the name something blows girl this palette is like a booklet, by the way. Very, very good and affordable. So if you're um, an upcoming makeup artist, I would suggest you to use this kind of eyeshadow. It has everything. It has blushes. It has um, highlighters, bronzer, and all that. So on my shade for today's eyeshadow, I wanted something nude not nude per se but something nude and then on my inner eye or inner corner i wanted to blend it with a bright color so i started with my i started at the outer corner so where i'm pointing the outer corner and coming to the inner corner so guys you're supposed to start from the outer corner coming to the inner corner so that it may give you the direction of how you're gonna apply that eyeshadow and if you want to to know more about the eyeshadow actually i've done two or three videos about eyeshadows so you 
and it's only eyeshadow for eyeshadow only so you can go check it out and watch and learn about this video and guys by the way if you want to learn more you can be watching my videos and have the makeup on you by uh, by your side and then do whatever i'm doing trust you me you will be you'll become a pro makeup artist and you'll understand the assignment so you just do in a circular motion just genuinely in a circular motion and don't apply too much of product sometimes we we tend to apply too much of product and we forget that the eyeshadow will look uh i'm lacking good name we look cakeish yeah so after that i've blended with that color there is i think it's it's peach and i'm trying as much as possible to make sure it it is it has blended very well with the outer color that i had applied earlier so that you may avoid two demarcation line and then now i'm focusing on my inner corner whereby i was avoiding cut crease i wanted to achieve a different look whereby it didn't apply or i didn't achieve what i wanted but there is still a next time so at the inner corner you come back with your concealer and do and conceal and then tap it tap it in or press it in a little bit after that i'm using my gold color just press it in don't drag it guys if you want to achieve a good makeup always tap it in just tap it and tap it and then oh la la you get an amazing look but if you want to have this look whereby it has demarcation line it looks like imeguruz or tumeguz or two then drag it in so avoid dragging it in yeah so next is my face remember i had moisturized earlier so guys 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 always moisturize your face and why do we moisturize your face we moisturize our face to make to make our face to avoid clogging of the face so my foundation i don't like applying it directly i like placing it on my applicator one thing on the foundation you want to swipe it down to prevent clogging of the skin and brings even skin tone and again i'm not applying under eye laugh line and nose area so as you all know you're not supposed to apply the fresh product on that area and you're supposed to squeeze as you can see my hands are wet so you're supposed to squeeze is the beauty blender it's supposed to be damp not wet and tap it in just tap it in tap it in make sure that the foundation has blended or as much very well with your skin so after that guys the remaining product that has has remained you come it you come on your under eye you come back and tap it in on your under eye and laugh line and on the nose area or in short where um mahali penye how will i phrase it like mahali penye utale inaletanga the the creasiness so never apply fresh product on where to bring crispness so when you are applying foundation on your forehead start from the eyebrows going to the eye to the start from your eyebrows going to the going to the sorry guys to the edges of your of your hairline 
So start from the eyebrows going to the hairline, guys. Don't start from the hairline coming to the eyebrows because when you start from the eye, eyebrows going to the hairline, the fresh products you you will not you will not apply with the fre fresh product but rather you'll use the remaining product and the you will avoid demarcation line so i'm highlighting and i really love highlighting or you are you highlight where light reflects and light reflects under eye nose nose mouth area and forehead and in this case i'm using lagal concealer the concealer that I used to conceal my eyebrows. That is the concealer that I'm using. And guys, you're supposed to use a lighter shade of your color. The lighter shade of your color. So after applying, take your sponge and tap it in, in that area. So if you have one foundation, you're supposed to flip on the other side. So after flipping, it has the fresh place. So just place it in and tap it in on that area, guys. Just be careful as you're doing this technique. And try as, as much as possible to avoid demarcation line. Come to the mouth area, also tap it in, nose area and forehead also. Just tap it in in that area that we've highlighted. Yes, guys. So, after you've highlighted... Instead of coming back with the you set where you've highlighted, I wanted to you to contour first. So I'm using these two these two products. Contour on your cheekbone. Where do we contour? We contour on our cheekbone. You can tap on your you can you can tap on your face and feel the cheekbone where it's located. There is where we are supposed to contour. And then, don't forget the nose. So after contouring the nose, the forehead, and the, and the chin, I'm using a different sponge. And again, guys, before I forget, you're supposed to use a darker color, shade. When you're contouring, use a darker shade. When you're highlighting, use a lighter shade. That is the difference. And I'm also using my Lagal concealer. The other one is a black opal. So I'm using two because black opal, you can't contour it on the nose because it's a little bit huge in a way. So after placing your contour, come back with your sponge. So come back with your sponge and tap it in or place it in. But again, I wanted to mix with the blusher guys if you don't have a blusher you can use lipstick so on my case i really love using lipstick a lot because it brings the warmthness that i love more than the blusher itself so tap it in in a circular way in a circular motion just Tap it in. Take your time. Guys, when you're doing makeup, you need to take your time. Don't rush, rush. 
just take your time. In a circular motion. So after you're done, after you're done with the contour, now you come back and place or and or tap the blusher. And guys, when you're using the blusher, you're supposed to use the sponge that you used while doing the foundation. Mostly if you're not using a powder blusher. Why? To bring so that it may look more natural. That's why we're using that shade. We're using that sponge that we used when we are using foundation. To may give us the warmthness and the natural. And it also use a circular motion while doing this part. Take your time and make everything in order. So after that, I want to set where I've highlighted and I've used my sponge. Just place it in. And if you don't have a, a little brush whereby you can line your contour, you can also use a small sponge. So I'm using my sponge to set where I've highlighted or to set my concealer. And I really like, dislike baking. So I'm pressing it in and I'm removing excess of the powder. That powder, that excess powder. Because you don't want a lot of Powderish on our eyes because of craziness, guys. Just take your time, place it. So where you've highlighted, guys, we are setting where you highlighted using concealer. On the eye, on the nose, and on the mouth area. Those are the parts that you're supposed to highlight. So far, so good, guys. I hope you're enjoying the video and hope you've learned something on this video. So after doing all that, I'm coming back with my finishing product so that I may lock all the products. Remember we have setting powder. Setting powder we've set where we've highlighted. Now I'm locking my foundation or i'm locking all the product that i've used using my finishing powder supposed to use everywhere to avoid the demarcation line and other product to stay on its lane so guys that is the look after that Come back with a spray so that your foundation may take longer or may stay long on your face. So guys, after spraying, come back with your bronzer. In this case, I'm using that shade of the bronzer and the bronzer we are using on the cheeks only. So guys, that is the look of my today's video if you've really loved this video kindly give me a thumbs up comment and tell a friend to tell a friend road to 1k subs guys before february so guys thank you for watching